So anything that has to do with uh, cannabis sativa, hashes and marijuana and things like that. There's absolutely no valid reason for that other than a conservatist, hygienistic uh, approach towards inventing the perfect human phenotype and genotype. It's the only reason why it's there. And sometimes they say, yeah, well, yeah, you know, it, it could actually uh, lead so, to some more relaxation. And in sports, we have to take a risk. It might potentially uh, lead to an advantage. The problem is that there's no evidence. There's absolutely no evidence base for that. And it's quite dramatic because quite a large proportion of uh, young athletes are kicked out of competition uh, for uh, various periods of time in, in Switzerland, fortunately now it, it has been shortened a bit because of cannabis use, and and, and it's terrible. You, you you smoke a joint with your friends the weekend, like many other people uh, of their age, of course, in society, who are not checked, and uh, and then a week later their urine sample is still positive. It, it, it remains a long time in the system, and it's unfortunate that that continues and that they don't want to get rid of the, 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 this, uh, this from the list. It, it shows you also that the agenda of the anti-doping establishments is not only about this, this defense of, uh, of, a, of a level playing field and the health of the athlete. Because smoking a joint from time to time, if you don't do that every day, What's the problem? We know now that it is that it is uh, that it's not problematic. It's not harmless in the sense that the, that the behavior of smoking joints um, doesn't come with the risk of smoking too many and and an increased risk for um, for psychosis and schizophrenia and things like that. That's true, but I mean other behavior um, is actually in that regard worse. I mean alcohol is costing society much much more. And we're not making a big problem of that. So the reason that it's on the list is clearly something that has to do with the agenda of the general war on drugs and and, and shows you that there is like a, a hidden agenda also behind all this so doping.